Daphne and Gerald. Yeah. yeah. All right. So today we're talking about living by faith and not by sight. And we're going to start with a song that is going to bless us. That is going to determine what we're going to speak about. So let's sing this song. But first, let's pray to God. Dear God, thank you for being in us. Uh, thank you that you know us and we know you now. Um, thank you that you're in us and you're with us and you're going to speak to us now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. because we stand in the word of God we stand on like on what the Lord has said he has done in us and that's what we we live by for example I, I live by like God is in me and I'll not be afraid so when I say that I end up not, not being afraid and I end up having peace the whole day so that's how we live by faith and not by sight uh, we have joy we enjoy every day we go to places or an adventure, uh, enjoy life, um, basing on the joy that you have in the Lord. You have confidence, like you walk out confidently, and 
do things confidently just because we have faith in God believe that he has done what he's done in us uh, from Romans 1 17 you just quote something small that the righteous shall live by faith So the righteous shall live by faith. I can give an example of like what is the greatest sin you can perform if somebody has done like let's say maybe killing somebody. Also if you have killed somebody, or if you've ever killed anyone, I'll use that because sin. <laughs> yeah, but uh, all I'm trying to say is even such a sin, the moment you believe in Jesus, you believe that you're forgiven. Um and you also believe that you're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Even after performing sin over and over again, um, you base yourself on that, not because of your righteousness, but because of God's righteousness in Jesus. So that is also living by faith. Every day waking up and say, I'm the righteousness of God. You know, despite the many sins you might always do, like every day we... We see almost every day. We see almost, but we still believe that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Now, this righteousness is not of our good works; it's all of Jesus Christ, of His good work, of what He did on the cross when He died. And that is now that that is what we best. That's our righteousness. That's why that's why we stand and say we are righteous. And that, I think that's why the Bible says the right. That's why the, that's why the Bible calls us righteous. Because we live by faith. Romans 1, 6, 17. Um, the very many things that we do, that many times you, you, you should get ashamed or you make mistakes. Many, many mistakes. And there is always that shame that comes towards us every now and then. But then we, uh, I personally always remind myself, like my shame, Jesus took away my shame. So I always remember that our shame was taken away. Always. And that's also living by faith. That your shame was taken away. Always remind yourself. That's how you have life. And it's it's true. It's the truth. Um, living, for example, believing that you're forgiven. Then you, when you believe that that you're forgiven, then you have eternal life. Then you have life. Then you live life. Then you, you're free. And you have to remind yourself every now and then because your mind will forget. You will do something bad and then forget. So you have to remind yourself of this truth. Um, living by faith can also be towards health. Believing that by the stripes of Jesus you were healed. Um, you can find yourself with sickness and it's clearly out there. It's clearly all over your body. But then you still believe that by the stripes of Jesus you were healed. Now we're not saying that you shouldn't go to the hospital. But what you're saying is, even before you go to the hospital, do you know that by the stripes of Jesus you were healed? So before you go, first believe by the stripes of Jesus you were healed. Saying that uh, you're rich doesn't mean you shouldn't go out and work and make money. But but believing in what Jesus did in you and then go out and make money. Believe first. Believe first that you are rich in Jesus Christ. These things he did in us. Um, when somebody dies, we can raise the dead. We can raise the dead to life. Before we, we, we declare them, before we say rest in peace, can we raise them to life? Can we raise them to life? before anything happens can we have faith before anything living by faith and not by sight what do you have what, what do you have what do you want to say about faith <laughs> uh, what i have to say about faith is that uh, because when you believe in jesus um god the father the son and the holy spirit come and make a home in us so it's automatic that we have the faith of Jesus in us. If you have Jesus in you, you have faith in you. 
and uh, that alone changes everything about how we see things you find it easy to walk by faith every step of the way because you have jesus in him there is a scripture in the letters of john that says that as he is so are we in this world so um we we have jesus in us and we have faith in us and we don't have to struggle to get that faith but to believe that we have faith and it makes it easy for us to operate in absolutely in any situation of our lives so that's something i have to say about living by faith and not by sight yeah so we sang this song let the weak say i am strong let the poor say i'm rich let the blind say i can see it's what the lord has done in us um singing hosanna to the land that was slain jesus died and rose again now that's that's the gospel and that's that's the freedom we have mm. as christians yep yeah